Oke, okay. oke okay, guys, kita ada event sabar jawa nanti ya di luar kita harus berbuka sabar iring rodanya ke kantor di Sumeru seorang peneliti menyelenggarakan sebuah turnamen pawang pecina dengan bantuan sponsor yang kaya terus turnamen ini telah menarik oleh hadiah sangat banyak kualitas dan sudah melakukan dengan hadiah ini Fridori sama praksis ya let's go if you lie on the Sumeru, Sumeru Sini ya Let's go Huh? There's a new bulletin board here And it has pictures of Fun guy on it Oke, mana nggak fungus ya? Ini laut mana? Wow. Kenapa nggak boleh? Let's go check out the tournament. If it's as dangerous as it sounds, at least we'll be there to stop things from getting too out of control. Ih, nggak asik banget deh. Welcome contestants to the Nilud Pala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament. I am Kautilya, a senior Amorta researcher and the organizer of today's tournament. I'm sure you're probably all very intrigued by the idea of fighting fungi and excited at the prospect of our amazing prizes. But at the same time, you may well have some concerns about the safety of this tournament. Worry not, the wisdom orb we've developed exclusively for this event makes use of Amorta's most advanced intellectual boost technology. It is absolutely reliable and safe. So please cast your reservations aside and enter the tournament with confidence. Also, it gives me great pleasure to announce that this event is sponsored by Mr. Elhingen. A renowned businessman from Fontaine who has generously provided a grand total of 60 million mora for our prize fund. And if anyone is able to prove themselves capable of carrying out Mr. Elhingen's philosophy by passing the ultimate trial, he will be willing to give them his entire fortune. The only other condition is that the winner must agree to carry on Mr. Elhingen's legacy by hosting the Nilud Pala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament in the future. Whoa! Paimon can't believe that rich guy threw 60 million mora at this event! Just like that! And what was all that about inheriting his entire fortune if you promised to keep his beast taming tournament going? Also... Pretty official. I might be a little inappropriate if we just barged in and tried to shut it down. So, um, why don't we enter the tournament and see if this wisdom orb thingy actually works? No, that's not it. It's just, uh. Now that everything in Sumeru has finally settled down, don't you think it'd be a little unfair to Nahida if we keep picking trouble with the Academia? And he sounded really confident. Paimon's curious about how this mysterious fungi taming device works. Although they've caused this trouble in the past, the fungi aren't just aggressive monsters, right? They're more like wild animals with bad tempers. Since 
there's no longer any safety concerns, we don't need to worry. Maybe we can even try becoming friends with the fungi. Paima thinks that would be fun. Besides, if we do well in the tournament, we'll be able to earn some extra mora. There are basically no drawbacks. Yep, that's the way we roll. Looks like we sign up over there. Come on, let's grab a wisdom orb and enter the tournament. Ahead of us, you're still signing up. Let's wait our turn. Golden Comet and Silver Companion. So, you're competing too? Tough duo if the posters are to be believed. Some mercenaries who managed to escape from you painted your portraits, warning others to avoid messing with you at all costs. Uh, Hyman doesn't know whether to be flattered or to try and explain that we aren't as scary as the rumors suggest. Unfortunately, the rules of this tournament state the beast tamers aren't allowed to use their weapons or even fight each other directly. Your impeccable combat skills won't be any use to you here. The tournament is about capturing fungi, training them, and commanding them in combat. There's no way of knowing whether commanding fungi is a skill you'll be able to master in time. That's true. We've never captured a fungus before and wouldn't know anything about how to get them to fight. Wait a second! You don't look like a staff member! What are you lecturing us for? Who are you anyway? The name's Sunia. I used to work for the Aramites, taming grumpy sumpter beasts. Ended up with a reputation for being a beast tamer, so they got me involved with testing the Wisdom Orb early on. Anyway, my name ain't worth remembering. I'm just an illiterate nobody. All I'm good for is doing odd jobs for Aramite mercs. Just think of me as another contestant. I do have a lot of experience taming beasts, though. Want me to teach you? You guys are worth me getting to know, as allies or opponents. Because either way, you can get rid of some obstacles for me in this competition. Of course, I'd prefer allies if possible. Well, that was blunt, but also quite honest. It's definitely better to have an expert teach us than figure everything out on our own, right? Uh, what do you think? Should we take her up on her offer? All right then. Take this wisdom orb and let's go catch some fungi at the designated area. She gets right to the point, doesn't she? This is where you'll capture your fungi. The fungi in this area are highly compatible with the wisdom orb, and they're ideal for training and competing with. The Wisdom Orb can capture and store fungi. It also serves as a controller. I recommend giving each fungus a code name to make commanding them easier. For example, this one next to me is Pyro 1, which means Pyrofungus number 1. You just go up their elements and then number them? Hmm. Seems kind of boring to Paimon. Uh, this fungus looks pretty lively. Why don't we call it... Bouncy Happy Troom. Uh, thanks, but, uh, no thanks. I've got my own way of naming them, and I'm gonna stick with it. It's simple, straightforward. It helps me with managing them. Yeah, you're probably used to calling it Pyro 1 anyway. All right, we'll stop. But wait until you hear the great names we come up with for our fungi. You might want to reconsider then.
kesana kemari kita menggunakan bahasa untuk skill cover dan skill pos D dan mana tombolnya kalau nggak tidak mampir D dan mana tombolnya oke lo terakumulasi Retro Movement Speed Waduh, masukkan Pak Emon Gila dua Oh, ada badai. Ya, terakhirnya. Hi, Manza, fun guy naming expert. Every one of these will sound really cool when you call them out in the arena. The round hat on this little guy's head kind of looks like a drum, don't you think? The first thing that came to Paimon's mind when she saw it was, if you hit it on the head, it's definitely gonna go bing bong. Hmm. How does the name Bongo Head sound? But look how happy it looks. That means it likes the name. Okay then, Bongo Head it is. Like a little puppy. Paimon's never seen this side of a fungus before. From now on, we need to look out for each other, Bongo Head. Okay, let's go catch some more fungi and make a team for Bongo Head. Time to go. Great, you've now collected all four fungi. The next step is to use the floral jelly provided by the organizers to boost your fungi's abilities. That way, they'll be able to unleash powerful skills during combat. Hyman can't believe we're making progress so quickly! It's all thanks to your help, Hania. Hmm. All right, let's all return to the arena now. Huh? Look, someone's staggering along with a fungus running circles around her. Uh... Is she being attacked? She's collapsed! Let's go see what's 
what's happening? One, take it out. Wait, it's not an enemy. It's my shroom buddy. I'm just, just a little too tired to walk right now, but I still need to find three more shroom buddies to qualify for the tournament. You mean you're a contestant too? I wasn't counting on running into other contestants here. Maybe. This is the end of the road for me. Twirly Whirly on its own is no match for you. Look after Twirly Whirly for me. Take him with you to the top. Hey, don't give up. It's not like we're a bunch of Eremites trying to steal your fungi. I, I uh, your shroom buddies. We're better than that. You should at least hang in there until we're in the arena so we can compete against each other properly. Hania over here is a professional beast tamer. And despite knowing that we might be her fiercest competitors, she still gave us lots of help and advice. Was that supposed to be a compliment? State your name and mission! Golden Comet and Silver Companion shall gladly come to your aid! R really? Then, could you... Please help me collect the rest of the four shroom buddies I need. Uh, does this mean my luck is finally starting to change? Um, uh, my name is Layla. I'm just a student in the Ritawa Darshan, so I don't have any impressive titles or anything. And my goal is to, uh, uh, to make it into the quarterfinals. If I can make it to the quarterfinals, I'll get to take my shroom buddies home and delegate some of my physical labor to them. Uh, uh of course I'll take good care of them too. Oh yeah! Paimon read that in the rules somewhere! All quarterfinalists get to take home any fungi of their choice. But... What do you mean physical labor? You're a student! Shouldn't you be busy with coursework and writing papers? Uh... This is pretty embarrassing, but, uh, uh, so I must have some sort of congenital sleep disorder or something, because I can never seem to get enough sleep. And I'm always really low on energy. Even the smallest amount of exercise makes me... <sighs> well, you saw me just now. I get so tired, I collapse from exhaustion. So when I said physical labor, I just meant basic stuff like moving books around or fetching things I need from the store. Ah, uh, you don't need to be embarrassed about that. It's totally normal. Paimon delegates chores to her all the time. First she calls them buddies, then she talks about wanting to live with them. Ridiculous. She sounds just like Elhingen. Well, looks like you've mastered everything already and moved on to helping others. I'm delighted for you. I'll see you around. Good luck. Huh? Why is Ania leaving all of a sudden? We haven't thanked you or Pyro won yet, Ania! Let's at least go get something to eat together! What's wrong? That beast tamer... Is she... angry? Hmm. Probably not. She's pretty blunt and doesn't make a great first impression, but she's definitely not a bad person. Otherwise, why would she have helped us? Yeah, we'll see her again, and when we do, let's give her some gifts to show her our gratitude. In the meantime, let's follow her example by doing our best in the tournament, helping other contestants, and making sure Layla gets to compete! Uh, thank you so much. I'll try my best to contribute, too. I don't... 
want to be a burden to you guys. Nicely done! Now that we've put together Layla's team, she should be eligible to take part! Let's head back to the arena and confirm with them! Oke, okay, sekian dulu ya. Kita lanjutkan di video selanjutnya. Oke, okay, see you and thank you and bye-bye.